Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great value price Class A motorhome from Parkway RV Center. I'm going to switch gears up a little bit this week. I know I've been doing a lot of Class A motorhomes and stuff. 40, 50, 60,000, even up to $100,000 these last couple of weeks. And nothing wrong with that, guys. You know, we pride ourselves on having a variety of price ranges for different budgets. Well, a lot of people don't want to spend 40, 50,000 dollars and I've been kind of neglecting those and I apologize. So we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some of the lower price class A motorhomes that but we have bought or traded for these last few weeks. And today we're going to start with a small one. This is a 2003 trail light by R Vision. It's a model 241, only 25 feet, 11 inches long. One of the smallest class A's you can buy. And it's priced for less than a used travel trailer price is right now at only 17.9. And guys, we're going to do things a little different on these smaller, cheaper motor homes. And what we're doing is I want to price these things for an as is price, like a back row bargains price, but you do have the option of a full checkout for $2,000 more. So in other words, guys, you can buy this one just like it sits right now for $17.9 or for $19.9, it'll get the full inspection. Now I'm not going to do anything cosmetic or any or carpet or anything like that, but I will make sure generator and everything else, appliances, plumbing, propane, all that works like it's supposed to. Guys, it is a 2003 trail light by R-Vision 241. It has 51,000 actual miles on it, runs great. Yes, we are going to test drive it later. And um, it's, 20, it's under 26 feet long. Not perfect, it's, you know, 18 year old motor home for 17.9, but it's not bad either. Built on the workhorse chassis, it's got the 8.1 liter Vortec V8 gas motor with a 5,000 pound tow capacity, 340 horsepower. And in this little small motor home, I'd have plenty of get up and go. Looking around at guys, I mean, these are actually built by Monaco Coach, the same people that built Holiday Rambler, Beaver and Safari. So, you know, even though it's their entry-level model, entry-level series, it's still a decent little motorhome. No slide, of course. And uh, got the motorhome running right now. The generator is a 4KW Onan gasoline. Guys, it's currently not cranky. It could be something simple as a fuel filter. It could be a carburetor clean out. I don't know. You know, at 19.9, we'll, we'll get in, we'll fix it, make sure it runs good. At 17.9, it's sold just like you see it. And guys, I'm being brutally honest. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out good and bad on these things. I don't care how good or how bad it makes it look. I mean, these are used RVs, guys. It's a 17.9 motorhome. I just got through looking on the internet, guys. No dealers have motorhomes in this price range that I could find. And we've got several of them, but they're selling quick. We sold one, uh, uh, today's Monday, we sold one Saturday for 19.9. I mean, and we got a few left, guys, and got one more coming in. So um, we are doing trades for motorhomes like this, and we are buying some like this. But like I said, guys, 17.9 is an as-is price. You know, I was originally going to put carpet in this thing and do a full checkout price 21.9, but, you know, it's... Uh, Instead, guys, just to give my guys in the back some relief, my techs have just been crazy these last few months. I, I'm going to try to sell some of this stuff for as is and just mark it real cheap like this one. Look inside. Guys, it's got the original carpet. And uh, I was going to put carpet in it for $21.9, but what somebody has done, it's got the original carpet, and they just cut another piece of carpet and just laid it down on top of it. So, you know, if you're not that picky... That'll do you right there just fine. I mean, if you want to spend a thousand, eleven hundred dollars putting carpet in this, um, let me know and I'll get my carpet guys to give you a time estimate when they can do it. It might be a couple of weeks, but like I said, it's going to be roughly a thousand dollars. Excuse me one second. Turn my phone off. Forgot to do that. Alrighty. Let's look inside. And guys, this is one of the smallest Class A motorhomes you could buy. And um, 
like I said, only 25 feet wide or 25 feet long, 51,705 miles. Does have a service engine soon light on. Not sure what that's about, guys. And even at the at the 199, I'm not. I don't cover that. Um. Well, I normally would on a higher end motorhome, but on one like this, guys, I'm not trying to belittle it, but guys, the markup on something for 179 is a fraction of what it is on something that's 499. So I don't have a lot of money to play with. Even at 199, I mean, two thousand dollars is about what it costs me to do an inspection. I'm not making any more profit at 199 than I am at 179 with the full inspection. I'm just giving you that option because a lot of people like to tinker with stuff themselves. And be honest with you guys, a uh, service engine light that's probably been on for years and it's probably had a lot of miles put on it. And you know, a lot of people, including myself, that really doesn't affect. I mean, I get it diagnosed and fixed, but it's no big deal. Um, you know, if I'm buying something that's got a light on, I mean, big whoop, you know, as long as it runs and drives good, which we'll find that out here in a minute, then nothing to worry about. But guys, the dash looks great. Got the padded uh, vinyl dash with no claw marks in it, so that means they haven't had pets in here. Um, got a, um, a TV up front, original CRT TV. You got vinyl covered seats. Got table, fold up table with two swivel chairs. Upholstery actually looks fairly clean in this one. Uh, got a sleeper sofa, got some overhead cabinets. It's only got about a six foot five height clearance going through here. So I'm six foot four and I've got a duck underneath the lights keep from hitting my head. But like I said, this is a lower profile motorhome and a shorter motorhome. So, you know, from the back, it looks like a class B plus or a class C when you look at it from the back. Side kitchen, you got an atwood stove top like most of them. Doesn't look like it's ever been cooked on. Got a stainless steel microwave, got some overhead storage. Got almost a brand new RV refrigerator. Now, guys, here's my theory. Um, and it's actually already getting cold. I've got it on propane right now. And the freezer freezer's already starting to freeze up. Here's my thinking. Somebody spent a lot of money on this. You know, this is probably a $2,500 ordeal to replace this refrigerator. To have you buy the fridge, have it installed. If this wasn't a decent motor home, I seriously doubt the previous owners. This was put in last year or so. I seriously doubt the previous owner would have paid that much for a refrigerator. They just would have bought a, a thrift store electric refrigerator, threw in it, be done with it for a couple hundred bucks instead of spending twenty five hundred. So, to me, that's a good sign. This is a decent motor home. If somebody went through the expense to put an actual RV refrigerator in it when the previous one went out, and um, about six cubic foot, it's a Dometic propane electric. And uh, you got a closet over here. Of course, you know, being as small as this one is, it's got the corner bed, corner bath floor plan, which is a full bed in the back um, with a corner bathroom. And then you got closet space. Actually got a decent amount of closet space for this short of RV. Step back here, you've got a rear corner bathroom little discoloration in the shower and tub which is going to be normal for this what happens is the UV rays from that skylight actually will turn that um, uh, plastic yellow over the years and um, it's still got looks like the original shower head in it because it's turned yellow too and you can certainly paint that make it look a little better for a couple of years but it's gonna go right back to that color so it's really more trouble than it's worth but it doesn't affect the strength of it whatsoever. I mean, it'll still hold up. And you look over here, your RV toilet sink. And the carpets look... Oh, guys, I apologize. The carpets look good. Um, it's just they piece together smaller pieces of carpet and just laid it on top of the existing. So that's kind of a hillbilly uh, carpet job there. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'm selling it for $17.9 as it sets. What you see is what you get. You know, if you want the full checkout, which I'll check a generator, check the appliances, check the propane water awning, um, 
bays and more and I'll put a link in the video description below to that inspection process so you can see for yourself what we inspect for 19.9 I'm giving you the choice guys you got two prices 17.9 19.9 17.9 take it just like it sets no repairs no inspection and you're certainly welcome to come down here and look at it in person we'll run power to it and let you inspect it before deciding if you want to buy it or not for 17.9 you know we'll run it to power let you turn the air on refrigerator on lights uh, check whatever you want to check on it before deciding if you want to buy it you know and you and you may get here and decide hey you know what i'm going to do um 17.9 i feel comfortable paying that for it and doing a little bit of work myself or you may decide hey not, i'm not a mechanic 19.9 i'll pay that have it fixed have everything going for it um within reason guys like i said i'm not gonna fix check engine light because all the mechanics right now uh, as far as they can work on this are, are booked up for weeks and weeks and weeks everybody's getting their rvs uh put up for the winter or getting them taking them out for the winter in some cases and um you know there's only a few shops in this area that work on these big rvs as far as chassis work and and right now they're all so backed up and you know it's not a cheap thing either so um, you know that check you know it may cost you a few hundred bucks to fix that lot and it may not hurt a thing to have it on so it just depends on how picky you are i guess and that brings back the point i'm going to make right here guys i would prefer on any of these older motor homes that you do not buy them sight unseen i'm not shooting myself in the foot guys i'm being completely and utterly honest with you brutally honest when it comes to older rvs guys you need to come out look at them you need to spend some time in them before deciding if this is the one for you and your family you know we are human beings guys everybody's got different opinions about everything and nobody's right nobody's wrong but everybody's got a different opinion about what kind of condition a rv needs to be in for the year model and price to be good enough for themselves or and or their family and um that's why i prefer that you come down look at it yourself spend some time in it before deciding to buy it i'm just saying that because guys like i said some people come in here and think this thing's the prettiest motor home they've ever seen for under 20 grand next person that looks at it may think it's the biggest piece of junk they've ever seen for 20 grand it's all about your opinion and uh, that's why i like you to look at it in person i know the videos help and yes i'm going to test drive it but like i said if it's possible come out and look at it delivery is available if you need it so like if you come down and you like it but you want to get the checkout done which is done after purchase well you can go ahead and pay the 19.9 get the checkout done and we can work out a deal on delivering it to you when it's done <laughs> if that makes sense guys you know we try to be very very um honest in our advertising and our videos and you know you know i was going to put carpet in it do a full check for 21.9 but hey let you save a few thousand dollars. Seventeen nine, just like it says, or get a full inspection. Nineteen nine, and if you want carpet, let us know. We'll get you. It's roughly going to be a thousand dollars, maybe a little more, a little less. But ask your salesperson. We'll get you a quote. Thank you for watching my video, guys. This is actually a decent motor home. I don't see any water damage anywhere. No soft spots. Uh, no odors to it. No smoke or pet odors. No mold or mildew odors um it is what it is i mean it's a class a motor home for a used travel trailer price and it's a small enough size it's easy to drive i mean guys this thing 20 under 26 feet long is only five foot longer than a full-size van i mean our, our most full-size pickup trucks are only five feet shorter than this five feet is insignificant when you're talking about length when you're driving so definitely a decent little motor home guys and i'll strap my gopro on here in a minute take it for a quick spin around the block see how it drives but um if it's something you're interested in please call before coming to look and strongly encourage leaving a deposit now i've got several in this price range right now as of this date and i'm gonna try to shoot one or two more today but um um you know if this is a week from now all of them will probably be sold because again guys look you can look at rip off world you can look at general you can look at all these different rv dealerships guys Look at how many RVs they have for under 20, uh, Class A motor homes they have for under 20 grand. And then if they do have any compared to this one. New fridge, 
uh, roof air. I mean, it's it is what it is, guys. So hang tight. I'm going to pause the video for a minute, get strapped up, and we will take it for a drive. But in the meantime, guys, that is a non-negotiable price. We don't play the back and forth game. Of course, most of y'all know that by now, but for anybody watching one of my videos for the first time, we've been in business over 52 years, and we do not negotiate price, guys. We put our best foot forward. 17.9, guys, you can't find crap for that right now in the current COVID-19 RV market. Um, I mean, this thing's decent, it's clean. It's gonna make somebody a decent little motor home for this price. And sure, you can go out and spend 40, 50 grand and get a nicer motor home with slide outs that everything works on with a full checkout and then some. And I've got motor homes in that price range if that's what you're looking for. But if you're in this price range and frustrated and tired of looking at junk, you need to pay attention to my channel over the next few days because there'll be plenty on here to choose from. But they're going quick. Like I said, what you see on here today may not be here tomorrow. Thank you again for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate all my 26,000 subscribers. If you're not one, hit, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. The more activity I get on my videos, the more YouTube shares them. And feel free to share my video on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to put it, guys. Feel free to share it. Thank you again for watching, and hang tight. We'll take our first spin. All right, everybody, now we're going to test drive this little 2003 Trail Light 241. And again, it's on the workhorse chassis with the 8.1 liter V8. And uh, motor sounds good. Let's take her down the road, guys. And um, brakes so far feel good. I've got some of the metal blinds down, so they may rattle a little bit when we're driving down the road, but it's all right. I hope you can see good. I've got my chest mount on, so um, it's going to be pretty much a virtual test drive since my assistant is going to be out for a couple of days, and I don't have a cameraman available. All my salespeople are covered up. But I am going to take it down the road here, and let's see what it can do here. Which I mean to me, driving this is like nothing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I drove a 45 footer the other day. This thing compared to that is like driving a, a little four door uh, import. Brakes so far sound good, feel good. I don't feel any vibrations. Transmission, at least it's no further than I've ran, it feels good. Temperature looks good. Um, yeah. see what it does I mean they put this same motor and transmission in a 38 footer I mean you can imagine the power this little guy's got good visibility yeah I like it guys so far and uh, you know as I drive down the road I'll tell you about anything especially on these older pieces that I feel wrong with or it might need to be addressed um, motor sounds pretty solid I revved it up a little bit to see how the transmission shifts that's a good way to test one and um it shifts smooth even at 4000 plus rpm when i sh when it shifted it actually shifted smooth so far tires feel good we're running 45 and i'll get on it a little bit if the interstate's not backed up we'll get on it and um, see how it does going that way So far, so good. Sixty, which I'll slow down a little bit since it's fifty-five through here. Just my seat a little bit. There's 
take it up the interstate let's see what it does and I'm gonna get on it a little bit getting on the highway I see what I, I don't think 60 miles an hour is going to be a big issue with this little guy you know it's always important especially with today's modern drivers um, to try to get up as close to highway speeds as possible when you're getting on the interstate because but this age of distracted drivers people on their cell phones or people like me shooting a video <laughs> they don't people don't realize you're trying to get on so it's always easier to slow down than speed up is what I'm getting at and that's why I always like to get on the interstate which by the way we was at 60 without even trying so far at 70 it's smooth let's hit the cruise cruise control does work now guys when you drive a smaller motor home especially if you're driving used to driving longer ones it's going to have a different feel to it because the wheelbase is a lot shorter and i'm still driving it easily with one handed but I feel the wind and the trucks and stuff a lot more with a 25 foot motorhome than I would a 35 or even a 40 footer because the longer the wheelbase, the less sway, the better it rides and drives. So, you know, this isn't going to be as, no 25 footer is going to drive as smooth as a 35 or 40 footer, but it's still very easy. Like I got a truck coming up beside me now and I'm still doing this one-handed with no problem. Now, I, it, I feel it a little bit more, but certainly not unmanageable. And uh, of course, I'm gonna get off the exit here. We'll try the brakes. I tell you guys, this construction is getting crazy around this place. Just a fair warning for those of y'all who travel to the Chattanooga area there's literally construction everywhere. Worst I've ever seen it. And um, let's see here, though, no vibrations, no pulsating in the steering wheel. Hey, guys, it's a, I don't think you could ask a 2003 to run and drive any better than this one. I really don't. Got a good ride and drive. It's, it's, it's comfortable for what it is. I mean, this thing really isn't any taller than or wider than a Class C or a Class B+. Plus. You know, these are neat little motorhomes. They're actually kind of rare, too. You don't see many trail light Class A's. You see plenty of them in a B+, plus or a Class C, but not a but not a, a Class A. They didn't make these for long, and they didn't make very many of them in a Class A, that is. They made Class B's for many, many years. And of course, like I said, this is an actual uh, Monaco built product. So even though it's a cheaper version, it's still decent quality for compared to like a Four Winds or a Coachman or something like that. This one's still halfway decent quality. And guys, at 17.9 again, just just a quick reminder. In fact, we'll get on the interstate here. Let's just let's just keep on rolling a minute or two longer. This is the downhill uh, entrance ramp here, so. Uh, yeah, I, speed's not really a worry about here. But we'll get on it one more time. Sixty. We're going uphill now, but I mean, I, I can go faster in sixty-five, but this construction's on the speed limit sixty, so I really don't want to. Of course, you know, everybody, nobody else seems to realize that. <laughs> of course, guys, I'm a slow driver. Even in my cars, I'm, I, you won't hardly ever see me go more than about five to 10 miles an hour over a speed limit. And most of the time, not even close to that fast. But yeah, guys, this thing drives great. Come out, take a look at it, 706-965-7929. Is the first thing you need to do is call us, make sure it's available. Again, 17.9 is as is, as you see it in the video. We'll plug it into power, let you do your own inspection, let you test drive it before deciding to buy it. Or for 19.9, we'll do all the RV inspection part 
as far as the components, the generator, uh, and all that stuff. Wow, in fact, I better cut, lay off of it a little bit here. It, it, this thing will sneak up at 75 on you. Thank you for watching, guys. Again, give me a thumbs up if you're interested. Uh, feel free to share this video. Give us a call if you're interested. Check out my great website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and make sure you check out the Back Row Bargains page. And I'll put a link in the video description below to that as well. Uh, it's 17.9 as is, 19.9 with a check. Uh, if you want to see what we're going to check for the price you pay, look in the video description below or on the website. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.